You haven't yeah. yet, and that is brilliant, Coach. Hey, brilliant. I, everybody who knows me knows that I know nothing about technology, <laughs> but that was a good idea, yeah? That is 100% good idea. Mm. I told the team, and they were like, gosh, why didn't we <laughs> think of that? My son, uh. he's, he's done all sorts of research. He loves this kind of stuff. And I came home and I told him about our conversation, uh. and he's like, Dad, you just hit something. He goes, I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I've not not one person's ever talked about it. That's a good idea. Not even NBA in the Staples yeah, Center. Like, mm, you know, think about it. Yeah. You gonna spoil it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, if you're gonna roll it out, let's just you know <laughs> hang on to it. But, um, when I'm gonna launch that features, I think you need to be the one who launched it. Yeah. Because I got inspired by you. There you go. That's so. <laughs> we'll wait for that moment, and then it'll be an NFT moment yeah. when we actually. Mm, these right. these guys these are students. I mean, they have money, but they also have a budget. So, what if they wanted to jump into this and actually become a collector? What what kind of starting point would there be for? Right, right. So the platform is very simple and easy. Okay. So you just need to lock in. After you locked in, choose your heroes. Choose choose your best moments. Click on it, and then you can just pay it with Ofo Go Pay. Or even you can just purchase it in Alpha Mart. So it's very easy. It's just uh, 20,000 uh, rupiah up until 450,000. So it's about $2 to like $50. No, like $30. So five, okay. $2 to $30 uh, per NFT. So almost anybody can get started. Almost anybody, anybody, can, anybody. can do that. It's a no brainer uh, e commerce. You can just pick every uh, moment, any moment, and then just click buy you have your ofo go pay right away what does the athlete get do they get a kickback on this or what's the and maybe that's none of my business but i just think about the athletes or the i mean they're the show is there anything maybe uh connected to the ibl and the athletes get some kind of uh so our business is and on every nft that is purchased by collectors we create uh, an understanding together with IBL to have a cut. Okay. So this is my cut, the platform cut, right. and then IBL's cut. Okay. Now, what makes it more interesting is that IBL took the initiative to cut it again to give to the players, players nice. and also the club. Nice. So okay. the 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 narrative is that the narrative of the business is that in every NFT that you buy, players got royalty. That's nice. Okay, mm. that's that's a that's a great starting point because I think I mean the the IBL is not an infant, but I would say it's a toddler in comparison to so many other leagues around the world. And so, to 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 put into place some of those kind of uh, initiatives, but not only makes you look like a respectable guy, nice <laughs> job, but and, and IBL nice work. But the fact is. It will help grow the business. Uh, the players in the past couldn't make a living playing. You know, they had to get other jobs. They had to have family support. Right now, they're actually able to make a living at some level. I was just talking to a, a big time CEO of a major uh, group here in Indonesia. And uh, we've been friends a long time. Um, and he was asking me about salaries and such for these IBL players. And, and even he's like, well, I mean, that's a good starting point. There's, they're making money. And if your business can help also support so that they can, you know, have a living. I think that's awesome. That's, that's great. That's the way it's supposed to be. We're, we're happy to. I mean, that's the purpose. I mean, the purpose of the sports industry is that not only uh, it's, a, it's a teamwork, right? So when we're doing this, business, we feel that we also part of the game yeah i mean we need to do something and then when we when we see the opportunity that we can give something to the athlete yeah yeah even it's another epiphany uh, uh moment for us who are actually doing business of yeah. these actions no it's exactly what's supposed to happen it's the ripple mm. effect mm, there and, you go. and uh and they are the stone that gets dropped in the water i mean without them there is no ripple uh nfts this idea um we lock we grab moments in actions, right? Right. But the thing is, we're lack of beautiful moments. Yeah. Like 
the no look pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need our players to improve to. Give By the that, ball. the sports become entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the NFT race. I mean, like, now I want to ask you, coach, what happened in the court? Is it is it right that the coach is actually getting mad to the players if they do that kind of thing or those kind of things? Tell us. Yeah. Um, you know what's interesting, hmm. and uh, I, you know, I have no problem with calling people out when they need to be called out. We had we had one play in our uh, national tournament, university level, you know, Lima national tournament. We had they had you know I don't know uh, four or five cameras watching the game all the time, and we had an alley oop dunk by one of our players. So Yesaya threw a perfect alley-oop to Kelvin. Kelvin came through with a two-hand smash. College player, it was it was good enough that it would be on a highlights on any station in America. So, so every now and then, you're gonna get these amazing plays, but, but people have to be prepared to capture it. And then secondly, when that happens, I mean, there was some really sweet plays not all the time, and yes, we do have to improve, um, but there's some really good basketball that happens, well, the, but no one goes like this. Why? I don't know. So uh, then for coaches, okay, maybe I'm a progressive coach. Maybe I realize that it's exciting, fun, entertainment. Uh, kids are playing a game. I mean, it is a game, right? But for me, it's three quarters. They get to play. Now in the fourth quarter, let's let's think this one through because you know game situation. There's lots of things, so coaches have to make stricter decisions, possibly down the stretch, maybe. But I'm dealing with university kids who are 18, 19, and you got to help them. But at the IBL level, I mean, actually those moments in the last few minutes of the game. Wow, that is the that is the reason to watch 40 minutes. So coaches have to allow it to be entertainment and fun. Right. And still win. Golden State Warriors, perfect example. Mm. Absolute perfect example. They play great basketball. They're as entertaining as anybody. And they also can win. If they don't create moments, mm. you got nothing to sell. Because no one cares about layup after layup after layup after layup. <laughs> after layup. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. How how can be possible for? I mean, not only about my business, but also for giving new vibe in the future of basketball. Um, Pete Maravich, I don't know. If, okay, you remember Pete? Okay, Pete Maravich. Um, back in the in the '60s, changed the game. Uh, he, he averaged 44 points a game in college, which no one's ever come close to. And Pete Maravich changed the game with his ball, his ball skill, his passing, his dribbling. He was the original, unbelievable transformation, transformational player of the game. Michael Jordan jumping from the free throw line. It's still an amazing moment. And everybody, you know, it was a 1988 slam dunk contest yeah. and everybody's just like, they st it's still there, still. Yes. A part of the game different things Larry Bird did unbelievable you know and you're just saying hey why can't the IBL you know players produce these moments and they they can produce them I think they need to be a little more aggressive just my own personal you watch warm-ups and everybody dunk 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 and then you watch the game and no one dunks why so I, I've asked players this over and over again because it's not that a dunk is worth more points it's not but the energy it brings, the momentum that it swings, the fun that's had by the crowd is worth more than two points. Attack the rim like you own it. Don't give up on it. Now, one of the problems though, is a lot of Indonesian players, and this happened to Kelvin. So Kelvin plays for SM, mm. okay, he played for Upeha. Kelvin went up for a dunk against, and I won't say the team, because I shouldn't, and the player undercut him, and Kelvin ended up crashing down on his neck and head and back, and fortunately did not get hurt. See, this is one of the issues, and so I'll give a little bit of forgiveness here for the IBL players. There are still players playing that are stupid and make stupid decisions and don't understand 
the moment and don't allow for that type of play to take place. And we need, we need coaches to quit coaching bad ethics. We need players to grow up and just get dunked on. It's okay. And enjoy the game like they're supposed to, not just in warm-ups. No one cares about dunking in warm-ups. <laughs> I mean, I, I could dunk in warm-ups. I'm a I'm five foot 10 white guy. <laughs> dunking in warm-ups is not that special. But in a college game, I just watched this guy from Duke. He did a 360 dunk in the game on a breakaway steal. Right. In the game, he does a 360 dunk. He's a college kid, 19 years old. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Because the whole place erupts. This kid goes down and does a 360 while the other team is chasing him to block his shot. Hey, now you got me all fired up. I'm starting to sweat. I'm like, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, let's cool down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, all right. Let's give some effects right here. Yeah. <laughs> and I ice. Mean, where's, the, where's the fan? I mean, I mean, lots of curiosity when we create to understand more about basketball and then and then uh, get into sports industry. Yeah. I mean, um, by by doing this, actually, we want to contribute more in sports. Uh, as the future generation, we also need to feature proof the role of our basketball and sports uh, in, the, in the local it's much more into uh, uh, local uh, local power. Uh, there are lots of opportunity there. Uh, let's future proof this by being involved and being part of the brand by choosing and using technology as a tool. You can find the way to support sports directly. So I think uh, let's not praise the technology but much more into use technology as the bridge to enable how it enables you to, to, to contribute in ecosystem. You, by watching it through your any of your favorite screen, you just support the ecosystem. So And it supports you because it's an investment. And now today it's an investment. Yeah. By um, having an NFT, you're meeting like-minded people and be part of something small that contributes big in the ripple effect kind of thing. So nice. let's let's welcome this technology. Let's welcome this new era. And hopefully I can see you in commu uh, basketball community in collective. Thank you. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you all. Be blessed.